what he's done in, in big waves and what he's done around the world charging is kind of inspired people. I think he's pushed the envelope more so than any other surfer in the world. He was my most favourite hi-fi guy to watch where he just would throw his tail so well and then he just progressed into the freaking gnarliest big wave guy ever and he's done everything in between. In my opinion, he is the best all-around big wave surfer in the world and I'll probably be that way for a while. When I think of Shane, I think of a fearless, incredible surfer. Uh, the thing about Shane that separates him is his talent. Um, he comes from a, a background on the world tour, and then you mix that with the most fearless, determined, fittest, best big wave surfer in the world, hands down, right now. Um, and he's, I think he's just getting started. influenced my career in the biggest way. I'm doing what I'm doing because of what that guy's doing. Since day one before he was even like a crazy big wave guy, he was my favourite surfer even just when he was in competitions and all that sort of stuff. And you look at an article, one of my first ever articles, I'm like 13 years old and it says who's your favourite surfer and it's got Shane Doan and that's it. God it was only me and Shane out probably about six years ago now at Chopo, like just next level 12 footers come in, not pretty at all. And I'm watching him and I remember thinking, I don't wanna have anything to do with this wave right now. There's this point where it was pretty damn obvious that there was no hope of him making it. And he kept going. Like he was so worked up that pulling back just wasn't an option for him. And uh, I, I really like that. Shane to me, in my personal opinion, is he's the top. He's as talented as you can get. He acts completely on instinct and his fitness. The guy's in the gym a lot more than probably most people think, and you know. And I think the level he's at is the level I can't speak for everyone else, but myself look to, to get to. has everything, you know, he's the whole package. I mean, a lot of guys just charge big waves and don't surf small waves, but I think Shane still enjoys surfing two foot to 200 foot, it doesn't bother him. For me, being a waterman is just not really setting limitations on yourself. You know, I think of a waterman as someone who Plain and simply just loves the ocean. And uh, yeah, I don't know what to say about it. You know, being the waterman of the year is, is a huge honor for sure.